Iron Dome missiles fired from a ship deep in the sea. They're aimed at destroying various incoming threats, which are detected in midair and destroyed way before they pose any danger to the ships. Using these new capabilities, the system detected various threats, such as rockets, UAVs, and cruise missiles, and sent from deep in the sea the Iron Dome interceptors, which successfully destroyed them. Yes, the biggest threat from rockets is still when they're launched at populated areas, but they're far from the only threat. Israeli Navy ships, commercial ships, or the offshore oil rigs are very tempting targets for Hamas or Hezbollah, and the latest test for the naval Iron Dome, known as Sea Dome, is meant to deal with this challenge. The current test is part of the roadmap to improve the defensive capabilities of our warships, adapting them to the threats developing in this arena. Israel is well aware of what may happen without such capabilities. In the Second Lebanon War in 2006, when the Iron Dome was still just a rumor, an Israeli Navy ship was hit by a Hezbollah missile, Four sailors were killed back then, and there's no doubt the naval arena will also be active in a future war, demanding offensive and defensive solutions. The security establishment is constantly working to improve the Iron Dome system, on land and in the sea, to increase its effectiveness. In this campaign, we added more naval capabilities to the system, putting on our warships. The Iron Dome has already proved itself, saving thousands of lives on land. It is now becoming operational to do the same for people and vital interests at sea.